Hey y'all, welcome to Resell Therapy. My name is Tracy. I go by Kedlet and I sell in places randomly when I can. I It's been a while. It has been a minute. I'm sorry for that. I know it does not help my channel at all. Um, I hope you find your way back and um, I have a mystery bag box box mystery box to make up for it. It is one of those from the thrift store that has health care and miscellaneous in it and we've had makeup in it and all sorts of stuff. I see a few interesting things in it. I'm dying to know what this is. And whether someone comes up in or not, I'm just going to roll with it because that's what I do. And then it's always better than trying to edit and forgetting about it. And anyway, I also got a bag of ornaments while I was out because it looked... What is the top of this bag? Hello, one person in the chat. Hello. There's a bunch of ornaments in here, and it was $4.99. Hey there. And I also got this. Do you see that B right there? I don't know if you can see. Oh, no, it's not right there. Where is it? Oh, it's on this side. Hello, second person. Do you see that B? Do you see that B? You know what that means? Brighten. That needs to be tightened up. And what does that say on the bottom? Taiwan and what? Brighton? Yeah, probably. Brighton. And someone had ditched it because it needed to be tightened and they didn't want to do it. Well, you know what? When you got the tools and when you love dragonflies, I'm probably not going to keep it. I'm probably going to sell it. But look how beautiful. Look how gorgeous ditched because they didn't want to take the time to tighten it. I'm okay with that. So cute. And I also got what did I get? Oh, I hemmed in hot on this. Right. Excuse the clanging. It's glass in glass. Now, someone put a sticker on it, but I can take that sticker off. I don't know how old it is. Yeah, or, yeah, maybe. I think so. I think so. It's a little small to be a necklace. Yeah. This, I'm not sure if it's, it's some, a search said mid-century. I, I don't know for a fact. But there's one tumbler glass in there. I paid up for it, but I'm going to put it in my booth. Uh, I love it. It's a little ice bucket, little tiny ice bucket, and one, one glass. I like it. Figured I'd kick myself if I didn't because it was so neat. And then I found some Pioneer Woman. I don't know if Pioneer Woman is out of style now or not, but I used to do really good with their spoon rests. You know, I sold an ugly green one. I mean, it was like, it was this pattern, but then it had an ugly green underneath it. And it sold for decent, and I got to clean it up. But I figured I'd give it one more shot. And if it doesn't do well, if it doesn't do well, I will sell it cheap here on YouTube to someone who still has their Pioneer Woman. And then I probably won't buy it anymore. Because I really don't know where I stand, where, where, where people stand with her or their, that stuff. I'm like out of touch. But then I saw this one and I had to because I know even though it's Pioneer Woman, I don't think anybody's going to care because we have heifers on YouTube. Look how cute! Look at the little cow. She's so adorable. And it is Pioneer Woman. Look, and it's an ornament. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, so cute. So I know I'll have a buyer no matter what on this one, even if, you know, Pioneer's out of style. No big deal. Not a big deal at all. And then, Kat said I had to. Holiday charades with all your favorite Christmas songs, movies, and characters, and more. Now, I like doing um, 
um, oh gosh, words. Uh, words, I don't do well. But um, I like doing trivia on this channel, but this is not going to work for that. Um, because it's charades. But look, Yukon Cornelius. I could always do, you know, trivia of who knows what that's from, Yukon, or where that, who that, where, who that, who that is and where it's from. I could do that. Uh, the Grinch who stole Christmas. I couldn't really do anything for that. I could come up with a question based on that. But yeah. I figured out my family would love, love this. And Kat said, yes, do it. I'm like, I can't argue with her. I have a weakness. I have a weakness. She's my weakness sometimes. Sometimes she's just who annoys me. Ah. Now, I don't know if I was smart in doing this one. But it has, and I wouldn't do it if it didn't have this. Now, it has the Believe Cup for milk, Believe Plate for cookies. But then it has this. I'm going to take it out. I also want to look it over. DWS, MWS, okay, whatever, the SC, all these letters, I don't know, but it's so cute. It has a little crazing. Oh, it's a sand at the bottom. Stop it. That is cute. And it has the cookie plate. That is adorable. A little bit of crazing. No chips, though. But this was the selling point. If it had just been those two, I wouldn't have done it. But we did the Santa key for the kids. And this is freaking adorable. This is ceramic. It says Santa's magic key. Our stockings hang upon the wall. We have no fireplace at all. You see, the problem is quite is quite clear, Santa. How will you get in here? We heard a legend. It is tr is it true? Of magic only you can do. We'll leave out a plain old key and mark it Santa, so you can see. Your magic makes the key fit right. You can get inside that, so you can get inside that night. Thank you, Santa. Here's our key. The milk and cookies are on me. Those are little tiny, tiny chip there. That seems to be the only issue. It does need to be cleaned a little bit. There's a little scrape there, probably from swinging back and forth on the door. But yeah, th my kids had a Santa key, and they loved it. Had to do it every year. Had to, because we, we've never had a fireplace. But, oh, I missed something. Yes. Yes. So I I paid like four bucks for this. And we're going to give it a shot. Like, I, I again, I hemmed and hawed. And Kat said, no, you got to do it. You got to do it, Mom. You got to do it. I'm like, okay. Okay. Has she ever been wrong? Yes. Do I care? No. Because we, we, it's something we're kind of doing together. Because then she will track whether it sells or not. And it's awesome. It's an awesome set. Okay. What else did I have? Anything else? Nope. That was it. I got out of there spending 25 bucks Because the bulk of it are in these two the bag in the box. So we're going to do the Christmas bag first. She is awesome. Thank you, Zola, for being in here. And the other person who's being quite quiet. Quite quiet. Quite quiet. Quick, 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 quick. I know I have a ton of Christmas stuff I'm supposed to get rid of, but ornaments. But ornaments. Oh, no, it's stuck. Okay, I'm not going to pull on it right now because then that whole thing is going to come off. But that is adorable. It's like, I don't know what that is. Come on, can you come off without breaking? What is going on here? I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 I did it. So this made me think of those eggs. But it's like glossed, shellacked or something over. It has some age coloring to it. I like it. I like it. Little teddy bear is so cute. 
And in this one, that's just replacement string. We can replace that. Oh, uh, looks like they... <laughs> 1991 oh okay i thought it was upside down i'm like no that's not right that's right i thought it was upside down it actually says stuff in there oh my goodness a little music that's cute i love ornaments with books i used to collect children's books which is what kidlet is short for children's literature and I used to keep actual books on the tree, little ornament books that you could actually read. I still have some. Here is a fur-covered deer. That's kind of cute. Hello. Ah. If you see anything you like, drop me an email. Kidlit rt at gmail.com I'll put it in the description box later I forgot to do it this time would you believe ornaments get tangled they do they do um I saw the the box and I after getting these in the box I was like I'm gonna have to do a live I haven't been on in I don't know how long that is different Hello. oh that's like uh the beginning stitch of, um, not crochet, the beginning stitch for, um, y'all, I can't think, knitting, like on a cord or something. That's different. Maybe I'll put ornaments, freebie ornaments in, in my orders, and that might be one of them. You know, why not? Macrame? Oh, I guess so. I guess so, yeah. Oh, look at the happy duck. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. He's got a smile on his face. Ah. Oh my. Year 2000. Oh my goodness. It looks like it had a stand that's cute stop in the name of Christmas yeah oh goodness okay oh here we go that's cute does it work does it light up is there a way to change the bed? Or is it just fake? I can't. Maybe it's just fake. Oh well. Either way, super cute. You could use that as just decoration or put it on the tree. It's not very heavy. Look, they gave me foam. How sweet. Okay, this looks like somebody's paint project. There's an N. There's an L. It's very soft. Like greenware. Like it's not been hardened or anything. Oh, I may have to keep this one. Oh, it's a puppy, not a polar bear. This one's so cute. It's a little puppy. Delicate hand-painted surface. Hand wash only. Oh, I was going to put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, it's a salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> 99 days away. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's cute. I like that. It doesn't feel like plastic. That feels like glass. And flocked. Nice. And that's a decent size. And yeah, it's made in China. But... You are not benefiting China. If you if you buy it for me, you're benefiting me. Oh, check that! I'm gonna put that in the booth. 1984 Gallery Originals. Something museum because I'm blind as a bat. That's glass. That's cute. Radco. Is that a radio? 
You mean a Radco? A Rad? You meant a Radco? A Radco for the Santa or this? What does that say? Can we see it closer? Shelburne Museum. It had a handle. It does not have a handle anymore. Or did you mean this one? That one just says China. I don't know. Okay, well, this one is up broken. The Santa! The Santa! Okay, okay, okay. It just says made in China. It doesn't say anything else. I wish that it did. That means it's not that vintage. But that's okay. Oh, goodness, there's another one. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. He's got a buddy. Is it a duck or is it a goose? I can't tell. I mean, they got really long necks, so maybe they're geese. Oh, there's a little hand-painted praying girl. Little stripey pajamas made in Taiwan. Oh, here's a clip-on ornament. 19... Wait, what does that say? 1986, 88, 88. I am blind as a bat, it seems. Oh, okay, he looks really demonic. Um, he's eating a cherry, it looks like. He's on a cookie. Oh, because it was a okay, he got in and ate the cookie. That's a tiny squirrel in comparison, or that's a really big cookie. Either way, that's cute and demonic at the same time. All right. Oh, I'm going to get glitter all over me. Hello, native collector. What is... Oh, oh, oh. Is that... Hold on. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. A knight? Is that you? Because I remember you did something with your name. A knight. Yay! I got it right. Cute and full of glitter. You see it? It's on my hand. Curse you devil dust. Okay. We have a little hutch. Hat. Thatch. Thatch. Hut. House. It's a tiny house. I. I words. Words suck. There, it just says made in Taiwan. It's kind of heavy. Oh, look how cute. They're making cookies. And then the squirrel's gonna, demonic squirrel with the chocolate eyeballs is gonna steal the cherries. That's cute. It's a uh, made in China, not marked by anything else. But it is still cute. It's heavy, though. You gotta have some strong limbs on your trees. Okay, I hate globes. I used to love water globes. I hate them with a passion now. This is a case collection, I think. No. The Danbury Mint? Really? I'm kind of surprised. The Yorkie Snow Globe Ornament Collection. Oh, so there's a Yorkie in there. But look at the disgusting pieces. Not That's glitter, but there's like a glob of... Who knows? Do you see it? Oh, what? No. Wait. Maybe if I shake it good. We get bubbles and we still have... No, we still have... No, I... No. Uh, no, I can't, I, no. I don't know if I'll toss it. If somebody wants it, let me know. It'll be really cheap. And then we have a Herald Angel. It looks, oh wait, are you missing a foot? No, you're not. Okay, I don't know. It's just an angel. I'm not going to say it's a Herald. I don't know what kind of angel. It has a face, so it's not, you know, I don't know. I'm talking through my... Well, my mouth, not my butt. But still, there we go. That's different. I'll shut up. Um, we have a target troll. Oh, 
this one's cute. It's plastic. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an etched church on there. Although it wouldn't be etched. It's plastic molded. Does it slide out? Does it open? No. It just looks pretty and it's lightweight and cheap. I like it though. Wish there was a way to open it and hide little stuffs in it. Not that it would be very well hidden since it's clear, but you know. That was the $4.99 bag. I mean, I can get my money back, clearly. Uh, I wish it wasn't so demonic, but it's still kind of cute in a demonic way. That one's cute. That one is freaking adorable. I'm going to probably put that one in the booth. Even though it's not as old as it seems, it's still cute. I might put a few of these in there. What 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 do you think I should do with this one with its globulous <gasps> that? Cuz that is so gross. It's like glue or something in there just kind of or grew something. I don't know. Some of these are really really cute. If I got a buck a piece, which I, you know, probably will get more than that. But one, two, three, not gonna sell that. That's gonna be a freebie. Four, five, six. I don't know about that. Not gonna sell that. I'm gonna put this in the booth. I don't care if it has a handle. Seven. Maybe I'll steal his handle. It's coming off anyway, right? Eight. Come on, go back in. You are a poo. Go in. Okay, maybe later. I don't know if that's worth a buck, but 9, 10, we're going to just average. 11, 12, 13, I'll put her in the booth. 14, he's just a salt and pepper shaker, but I might put him in the booth. 15, oh, uh, I'm going to definitely put that one in the booth. 16, yeah, I'm definitely going to make my money back. Not really worried about that. bummer that one's broken that's like from the 60s maybe it's heck of broken missing a wing and an arm somebody just went Pow! and then don't forget my my bonus sponge so happy to get that <laughs> who left oh no i only had two people to begin with well no one but oh well no biggie. Let's go through the basket. I know I have not been doing many videos or lives, and as a result, this is what happens. Um, the algorithm goes, no, we're not going to let people know. And people try to clean up their stuff, and then they don't have the bell or whatever, and or they get bored with me, you know. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Oh, this bag, they had a ton of these bag baskets. And where they were three and four bucks before, you can fix the squirrel eyes. Yeah, I could probably paint them, huh? I may have to get the scissors out for this. Whereas I would get several people. I don't get many people at all. And I might be jumping around my conversations because I, I don't know anymore. All right. This is in here. Odyssey Avon Clone Spray. <laughs> Let's just see if it's open. I'm not going to smell it. I just want to see if it's... Well, goodness. That looks pretty full. Just had a hailstorm. Bigger than a quarter. Holy three. Wow. Wow. La la loopsie. Spot, splatter, splash. This is glass. I wouldn't have anything glass in a kid's thing. What? Oh, the toilet. It's smelly stuff. 
It's smelly stuff? La la loopsy smelly stuff. Ah. It is! Holy cow! Ooh, that smells... You know what that smells like? Um... Um... I can't think. I can't think. I think I have a migraine coming. Uh, I kind of, I've been struggling with words for a while. Uh, strawberry shortcake tea uh, apple dumpling. It smells like apple dumpling. From strawberry shortcake. I kid you not. It's glass. That's crazy. I'm going to have to look that up. Wow. That is insane. Face lotion, Scotch Porter brand, has a tag on it. Is it still sealed? No, it is not. Yuck. 613 by Chaz Dean. That's a good brand. Is it? It's still sealed! Woohoo! Awesome! Uh, blue denim mask. That's what it looks like. Huh. Okay. Sun care for hair. Bumble and Bumble. This has me so curious. Okay. Um, this, this looks new. Oh my, I can't even open it. Is it sealed? No, I don't think it's been used though. Wow. Huh. I get the weirdest stuff in here. I love it. Okay, this is super bronze. Is there a sticker on it? Oh, it's sealed. It looks like it's leaking a little bit. It's like bronzer. I may have just pipe pat popped the seal. I don't know if that's um what that is. Just like makeup, I guess. Yeah. You did, ha was it good? What are the Bumble and Bumble products? They are skin care for hair, or sun care for hair. It says ultimate hydration and beach wave perfection. Hydration, oh no, then it's in another language. They said that there's a lady that comes in when these come in, or she'll call and ask if they've come in. And if so, she'll come and buy a bunch of them. Oh, that's sealed too. Um, yet yeah, as a result, they've jumped up to as much as $7.99 a, a bag. Oh my God. I'm not saying that out loud. When I looked at it, I'm like, that looks like a pair. And then I'm like, no, I'm not going to say it out loud. And then I saw the title. Comfort Cream. Unbelievable Fresh. Or Unbelievably Fresh. So, <laughs> sweat protection, odor, nat naturalization, naturalizing, naturalized, not neutralizing, but naturalizing. Wait, is that what it says? No, it's neutral. It looked like an A. Anti bat wing? What the frick is anti bat? What is bat wing? All right, somebody Google it. Prevents chafing, chafe, chafing. God. Aloe for soothing, soothing, and manly scent. I don't even want to know what the manly scent is. We donate a portion of the proceeds to prostate cancer. Oh, well, that is at least something since it never got used. Yeah, I'm going to put that to the side so it stops being on the Oh my god. Avita 
cleansing soap bar. You're scared to Google it. <laughs> this is probably just a soap you get at a, you know. <laughs> Zola's like, I'm on it. <laughs> Soothe me. Ingrown hair wipes. Ingrown hair wipes. Is this by the same company? Use this secret weapon once a day to prevent ingrown hairs, bumps, and breakouts. Use twice a day directly after waxing to treat existing breakouts. Okay, so it's for waxing. Never mind. Europe, oh, European Wax Center. And it is sealed. I'm not going to open it. There's like a damage there. What would... Wait. <laughs> so that's kind of oops sorry that's kind of neat oh here's a used powder and it is what color silver I don't know if that's makeup or nail or what I don't know Okay, what is this? Na oh, Nature's Oil Rose and Peony. Is it sealed? Probably not. And it's not. I don't think. I don't know why I just sniffed that. It's Rose and Peony. I shouldn't have. So it's used, I think. Uh, yeah, it's used. I'm just going to leave it alone. Ha ha. Oh, geez. Sweaty ball sack, I guess. Bat wing is when you <laughs> stick to your inner thigh or undercarriage. Oh no! What? No! I got batteries. Anybody need them for their hearing aid? Made in Germany, so you know that gotta be good. I have no idea. I'll put those on eBay, I guess. I got a COVID test! Yay! It looks like it's all there. It looks like they shoved more in there. I don't know. You can always use more just in case. Here's another thing of silver. Iridescent gold? Oh, there's a name on this one. J Jacquard Products by Rupert Gibbon and Spider. So I'm going to be able to look it up, I guess, with that. Because I'm not sure what these these are. If they're for paint, if they're for nails, if they're makeup. Because, oh my god, I got a lot. This one, what color is this one? I can't read it. It's like a copper, sparkly copper, maybe. I can't read the type, the thing, but that one's partially used. And then there's this really pink, pink purple that's uh, a lot's missing from eucalyptus oil oh look at that mica blue very pretty it says turquoise okay doesn't look that well maybe it's very pretty oh that rose color, though, is pretty. What does it say? Super russet. That does not look like a potato. <laughs> uh, what on earth? Not to spec. Or not S... Not STD spec? What? Are, what? Not stud. Okay. I, I give up. What the fuck? I'm sorry. Metric die master mechanic. Huh? I don't, why is that in there? That's weird. And then we have a Sonia Kashuk. Kashuk? Kashuk? 
medium. It looks like it's something concealer. I think it's a concealer pen. I guess in that color. Very pale, like me. Ha <laughs> ha. Dude, if I pull, pulled up my pant, my short leg to itch myself in the parking lot, and I said, oh my god, cat, and I pulled it up, and I was so white. I was so white. I was blind to myself. Um, Buff City so Soup? Is that what it says? Buff City Soap. Oh, my bad. Bath Bomb in Lavender. Stay. Looks like it would be a lollipop if it was on a stick. Of course I would think that. Two things that dial soap, because you could never, you know, go wrong with soap. And then Magic Root Rescue. Ten minute root coloring kit. Well, I'm far beyond that. I need the whole kit and caboodle. And it's a dark blonde. What is okay? Here's the thing. I was, I was. Oh, it looks like it's an art thing. Oh my gosh! Do you see that? Can can you? Uh, hold on. Is it still sealed? It's still sealed. Oh no! No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. Okay. There's the paint. watercolor right it's watercolor and the brush if it's dark brown I get it from my mom okay it's dark brown it looks like it's missing a brush not this you see that is it so you can paint on it and then roll it to get that on your paper, maybe? It's like a dragon. Oh, it is a dragon. And a bird. Oh, that's so weird. And then here's the... Would you put water in there? I don't know. That looks like a fish. That's so crazy. And that stone. Wow, I don't know what to think about that. That's cool. Again, it's missing one brush. Neat. So, will I make my money on this one? Yeah. $3.99, definitely. There's so many new things in here and then things that we'll just keep and use. I don't think for a minute this is new. But I'm still so intrigued. La La Loopsie Spot Splatter Splash in glass, though. And I'm telling you, the smell makes me think like those dolls. I can't quite place it. That is so neat. In glass. I don't understand. This is the only one that was really open. Yeah, look up the perfume. You look up the perfume. Here, screenshot. I can't look up the perfume. I'm using my phone. For fruit, for fruit. You can on Macari Benadi Bay. Okay. I might keep this one. I like the smell. I don't I don't like um perfume. But this is like fruity. You did look it up? You want me to look it up. Oh, okay. I'll look it up after. You seem excited. Now I'm excited. I don't know what these are. They look like mica, don't they? Like mica powder? And that might be the case. I don't know anything about these. 
So if you want the happy meal. Ah! So who wanted this? You wanted the, this is a, the dark blonde, but it doesn't look very dark. If that's the color, that looks like a light. Oh, dark blonde, not light brown. Not dark brown, blonde. Yeah. Never mind. I'm a dork. You said dark brown, right? Three bars of soap. Woohoo! I'd pay $3.99 for three bars of soap. Sure. And the COVID kit. We will keep that. You want to look closer at the color pots. Okay, let me find one that you can actually read. Oh, no. That light is killing it. Let me see if I can open this one. Oh, later? Okay. See, it seems like it's sealed, but there's not a lot in there. I think... I think they're mica powder. I could be wrong. Which can be used in a few things, if so. That is so pretty. I think they use it in soap, and they use it in... If it's if it's that. I, I'm... Again, talking out my butt. I, I don't know. You did the screenshot? Okay. Cool. And I have a mask. I have a code. Uh, hey, if shit starts, you know, flaring up, I'm good. The rest of the family can suck it. But I've got a COVID test. <laughs> and a mask. I'm sorry. That was really bad. Yeah, I'm going to look up this. Chaz Dean is a good brand. And this is still sealed. That's kind of cool. Good box. Love doing a oh, box basket, whatever. I love doing those. N nothing like high tech in this one. Except maybe the batteries and... Well, that's not high tech, but whatever that is. But that's okay. There was some really good stuff in here. I'm excited. I almost put that back in there when I'm getting rid of them. I don't know what to do with the oils, though. I don't know. Okay. That is all I have. I did not bring down the tangle. So I appreciate you guys coming in. Oh my goodness. There's four of you. Should I go back over everything? Sinai Kusik from Target? Sonia Kazik from Target. But what is it? Is it mica powder or is it something else? Oh, hit the thumbs up. Thank you. Oh, somebody disappeared. Does anybody want me to go back through the stuff since they just came in? I don't mind doing it. If not, you can always hit replay. I'm okay with that too. Email me if you're interested in anything you saw. It is k-i-d-l-i-t-r-t at gmail.com. And I will quote you a price. All right. Until next time, take care of yourself. Have a great day. It is mica powder. Hey, cool. Have a great tomorrow. I don't know what this is. I'll see you next time. Bye.